We actually were doing IVF and so we did our first round and it was not successful. So then the second time they said, do you want to transfer two? Uh, so we did two, not expecting both of them to take. It was early when they called, so I went in the bedroom and I uh, woke my husband up. I'm like, I think we're gonna have twins. <laughs> My pregnancy was really easy at first. I mean, I was really, really sick and lost a lot of weight at the beginning. Um, then it got better. So we went in for a regular checkup and we would have been at 30 weeks. And then Dr. Jorgensen came in and said that my levels, my protein levels were off the charts and that I was going to the hospital that day. Uh, they were gonna give me two rounds of a steroid shot to help develop the girls' lungs and that they would be born on Friday, which was two days from then. Uh, well, when they were first born, they both cried, which was great. But because they were so early, they knew that they were gonna need a lot of care. So when they came back, they did have to go on oxygen. They had to have an IV. They had to have a feeding tube. Everything has been super amazing. I mean, the staff here is great. And so they did really well with me, very attentive the whole time. Um, for the girls, they actually had a team for each one. So each one had a pediatrician, they had a nurse. I mean, there were so many people in the room. I don't know who all was in there, but they each had their own teams. I mean, they make you feel like part of the family. They come in and they talk to you, they talk to your kids, they treat their kids like they were their own, I feel like. They're just very attentive, they talk to the girls. I mean, they just make us feel like family. They have been doing amazing. We get told all the time how well they're doing and how they're exceeding expectations. Um, so far, no real complications. They can hear, they've done the hearing test, they've done the eye exam, their eyes look good, so. Um, I actually had advice from a friend and they said just to go day to day. Don't worry about the goals, don't worry about, you know, when you're gonna go home, just focus on each day because if you worry about the goals or when you get to go home it's just daunting and you just don't know because you don't know if there will be setbacks or if they'll continue on the track that they're on you know different birth weights are good like on the pictures back there you can see oh I'm four pounds and I'm three pounds and those were big ones but some of the other ones that most people would be like why are you excited about that is pooping like we were so excited when they would poop just because that was something else that you had to worry about like if something wasn't working correctly with their digestive system and so just the little things that most people take for granted you get super excited about. Keely is a little bit feistier she like is up and alert and looking around a lot and like with her pacifier she was the first one that like really took to it and she was like really hard on it and we just knew that when she got to the bottle she was probably going to take off, um, but Kinsley is a snuggler. She really likes to snuggle. Um, she's kind of lazy sometimes, so we can already tell that. Like when we try to feed her, sometimes she'll just go like limp, and then she'll kind of look out of you out of the corner of her eye to see if you're still paying attention, and then you put her back, and she'll kind of wake up and be like, "Oh, okay, I got out of feeding out the bottle today." Honestly, for them. I pray every day that they're just going to live long, happy, healthy lives. That's the most important thing. They never take anything for granted.